I purchased a soy milk maker. Sun Pen Generation 2 SS-211. Yes, I don't have to make it on the stove anymore. I want you to take a look at it and I think you'll find it interesting. Welcome to Kiwis to Pistachio. It's a soy milk maker. If you look at the side panel, it says it's fully automatic. It has a bubble level sensor. It has a detachable filter. It's a patented design and it turns bean curd into soy milk. When you open it up, this is the inside. It has a glass container. Bean curd filter. It has a base. You plug it into a 110 receptacle and then you can see that this is where you put in the end. So after you finish the soy milk, what they're saying is that you could use this container to store in the fridge with your milk. And it has a handle and it has a top. This is basically the, the parts involved. These are organic soybeans. This is not the correct bag for them. I got them at a local store. The first thing you do is you measure your beans. This is exactly one cup. You're gonna put fresh water in there and they're gonna soak. This is what it looks like if you put it inside. I put in twice as much water as those beans. So as the beans start rehydrating themselves with the water, they'll be ready. Okay, when you get these beans, you gotta wash them just like there were regular beans that you bought them at a dry bulk, bulk shop. I haven't found any bad beans and there's no rocks in any of these. To fill this container, this container has a line on it. It has a minimum and a maximum setting. Today we're gonna use the maximum setting. Fill the container first with water and see approximately how much it is. I've just done that and it takes seven cups of water, which I'm pouring into the, the container. Now we have to wait for the beans to finish soaking and then we'll install them in the bottom half of this container. You can see basically how this works. The, the beans, once they've soaked, go in this container and there's a micro filter around it. It gets inserted into this bottom part. Of, this is what turns and crushes the beans to make the soy milk. This portion here is a temperature gauge and allows to keep the, burn, the bean at the correct temperature. So it's cooking it while it's stirring it. Everything is managed with one easy button and it takes about 20 minutes to make this milk. It says it's fully automatic and user friendly and cooks it in 20 minutes. It has a detachable base and allows for easy cleaning. It has a German Scott glass carafe which allows you to see through the whole process. Detachable, high density filter, easy to clean, healthy and convenient and inexpensive to make cholesterol free and low fat drinks enrich proteins. You can see the top picture here where you pour the beans. Well, these better be soaked because it doesn't work if it's not soaked. It says your bubble level sensor. It has a detachable filter. That's that piece that comes out the middle. And it has a patented design where you can make your own bean curd. This part was not included in this box when I purchased this online. I've looked at several of these and I've only found this one model. They have a new model out right now. They're about $60 to $80. I paid $15. When we started, we filled this entire container of dried beans and this will go into the machine. You pour into the strainer, like so, kind of level it off. You grab the machine, you flip it upside down and it's got reverse threading on it. Okay, put it inside your, your container, put the power plug towards the handle Okay, that means the power is on. If you see a green light here, the power is on, and it is. When you're ready to start it, you press the start button. There's a red light, and that's your ready button. In less than 20 minutes, there'll be one more beep. That's when it tells you it's done. During the process, you're gonna see it move, and I'll try to capture that so that you can see this machine work. Meanwhile, we will put away these beans. Here, the machine is warming up the water. This is the machine when it's grinding the beans. You can see the water turning a different color. It's gonna do this several times during the process. This is the second time. We're on our sixth time and it's cooking the water and the bean together. At this point, it's done the rotations 11 times and now it's seaming and now it's just uh, turning the bubbles of our 
are coming down. The stirring rod was just stirring the milk. You can see more action happening inside this cooker. When the soy milk maker gives you five beeps, it's finished. Both the ready light and the power light is on, indicating that it's finished. Use a bowl or something that's safe. Pick up the top, remove the power supply. In this case, unplug it from the power outlet. Pick up the top, let it drain a little bit. See all this crud? That'll all have to be removed when you clean it. Now put it in the bowl, it'll drain some more. It's better if the bowl is a little flatter. Now the next process is to strain this, strain the milk, and put it in glass containers. It's a little difficult to pull out this container and pour directly from that. So I usually use a large funnel like this and pour it. And while I'm pouring it, I'm straining it. Now what these are, are glass sterilized bottles. And I sterilized them in my dishwasher. Just short at the top. Now that's gonna have to cool, so move it to another location. It's a little bit better to do this when it's cool. The problem though, is this fuzz here, then gets harder to remove. Use a oven mitt and grab the bottom. There's a little handle on the bottom, you see it? And you grab that and you go counterclockwise. <coughs> there, very, very hot, so you have to be careful. And this, all this stuff has gotta come off. But right now, we're gonna flip this upside down. Now this is perfectly edible. There's nothing wrong with it. So what did we get? For one cup of one cup of soybeans, we got one freezer bags for all kinds of good foods or making more milk. We got these are 800 milliliter containers. If you stop right here, okay. So now you have two containers. You're not going to put the cap on top. You're going to let it vent. You're going to let it cool, and then you'll put it away in your refrigerator. And this is good for a week. Now what if what I found out? This is a great machine. It cooks the milk exactly in 20 minutes. It tastes good after it's cold, and I can use it in multiple applications in my cooking. Is it easy to clean? You have to get around these, this, this bend here and this thermostat and this blade here. For the, for the most part, it's fairly easy to clean. There's a little bit of a hole here to let out steam. You do have to run a paper towel down there. But I think it's a worthy product. $15 for me is a good deal. Brand new at $85, that may be different. But then maybe they have found better ways to clean the machine and maybe and this entire ad cannot go in your dishwasher while the other parts all can go in your dishwasher and what i normally do is i put them on sandy wash on my dishwasher it's very hot and it sterilizes those other components and i do a very good job of washing this with clean towels and and then i dry it well and i put it back in its container for it to, for next time so I think the soy milk maker SS21 is a good investment, especially for the price that I paid for. Thank you for watching. Hi, this is Gary. Click the circle on my face to subscribe or click the upper box on your right side of your screen to check my expanded playlist. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you like this video.